Hello and welcome back to Satellite Dry Lake uh, Model Aircraft Flying Facility. Um, I've been unimpressed with the range I've been getting on my uh, SEMA X5C. I've noticed it only gets to about 45 meters, about 150 feet. Uh, that is the advertised range, about the advertised range of this quadcopter. But uh, it's got to do better. There, there are others out there, many others in this size and class that get twice the range. Now, opening up my transmitter, I had noticed inside that the uh, antenna was only about 26 millimeters in length, uh, a little bit shorter than the required 31 millimeters for a quarter wavelength on 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, I also was thinking about uh, improving that by adding a 5 dB antenna, but uh, looking at the board, circuit board, uh, that's beyond my current soldering skills to be able to do such. But I did notice on RC groups that somebody had uh, in increased the range on the CMAX 5C by adding an extension to the antenna to either reach half wavelength or full wavelength. Now that I could do. Um, I just uh, removed a little bit of the uh, plastic covering over the end of the antenna and soldered on uh, enough wire to reach uh, the full wavelength of 2.4 gigahertz of 4.92 inches. So, I'm out here at the uh, facility. Let's give it a test flight. Now notice we do have a wind coming from the south uh, that's going, uh, actually it's coming from the west, I'm sorry. It's going about uh, 10 miles and it picks up to about 15 miles per hour. Uh, so to give the X5C a fighting chance, we know how well it handles in the wind. I've removed uh, the uh, doors, uh, the camera and its landing gear. And I'm going to fly it in high rate mode. And let's send it out uh, to certain distances. Uh, that the bushes you see off in the distance there are about at 45 uh, meters. If I can go past that, uh, we know that uh, we've exceeded uh, previous test flights of this quadcopter. Also, I'm going to fly it upwind in that direction so that it, when it does fail, if it does fail in flight, it'll blow back toward me. So, turn it on the quadcopter. Letting it, uh, the gyros initiate. Binding the quadcopter. And setting it to high rate mode. Let's go for a flight. Now, I'm going to keep it pointed downward. That's the way I usually fly. Put it in my lap, point it downward. And that's to beam the antenna, <laughs> beam uh, the maximum amount of energy from the antenna out toward the quadcopter because the energy doesn't come out of the tip. Most of it comes out of the, the sides. So here we go. Can it reach the bushes? That is the question. <laughs> it's having a hard time getting out there because of the wind. Well, I'm guessing I'm past it past 45 meters already oh yeah this has definitely improved the range greatly improved the range now I'm climbing wow this is much better than before I've never been able to get out a range like this okay I'm, I'm guessing I'm about 70 meters right now Great, this works. So people, this is a real simple way to increase the range on your quadcopter. Very simple. Um, I'll try to include uh, pictures and links. Oh, this is much better. I'm more happy with this quadcopter now that I can get this range. I never was able to get that altitude either. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see this on the uh, camera because it's got a wide angle lens but I'm, I'm pretty good I'm guessing about uh, at least uh, 200 feet up okay I'm gonna bring it back down 
oh this is impressive <laughs> finally finally I got one at fl or the X5C is flying similar to uh, the WL Toys models I like the X5C because it looks cool I, I want it to work <laughs> it just does require a little bit of modification hopefully uh, SEMA will get the hint and improve the antenna on this thing flying well in the breeze but keep in mind this was designed to be a camera bird so another thing that SEMA could do is try lighten up that camera so that it can fly better but yeah this modification simple to do I try to include some pictures on RC groups to show how to do it but again all I did was extend the antenna out to 4.92 inches to get the full wavelength at 2.4 gigahertz <laughs> that's the wind doing that <laughs> So this can fly in the wind if you lighten it up, as seen. And that's a it's a good wind blowing here. Well, I'm getting bored with this. I'm going to fly some of my other quadcopters. But, hope you enjoyed this. Again, it's real easy to do. Let's implement that. Can he land it again? Okay, Quadcopter 101 signing out.